Now turn to part one. Part one. You hear a conversation between a fitness center agent and customer. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five. Listen carefully and answer the questions one to five. Good morning. May I help you? Hi. Good morning. I've come to get some information about membership and the facilities here. Of course. So, what sort of thing would you like to know? Do you have a yoga class? I'm sorry, but we primarily run aerobics classes. What about swimming? No, I'm sorry. Perhaps you have mixed us up with the Seven Sports Centre. Oh yes, I must have made a mistake. Sorry. So, do you have bodybuilding equipment? Sure, we've got a lot of facilities for bodybuilding, and we also have a Keep Fit studio. It is very popular with our members, and then as well as that, we have a badminton court. That sounds good. I often like to play badminton. We have other special classes too. Do you have fencing classes? I'm crazy about fencing. Well, at the moment, we offer judo classes. We're planning to add fencing classes soon. Are there any restaurants or coffee shops I can go after exercising? At the moment, we've got a diet shop which is very popular. It sells caffeine and oil-free, low-calorie food. Okay, thanks. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at the questions six to ten. Now listen and answer questions six to ten. By the way, can I ask about the membership scheme? What kind of membership are you looking for? Um, I haven't made up my mind yet. What sort of membership schemes are available? Well, there are four different types of membership. I see. How does it work? Basically, the first one is called Super, and you can use all services at any time during the week or at the weekend. That sounds great. It's very expensive, isn't it? Right. You pay seven hundred pounds for the annual subscription fee. Wow, it's so expensive. Right. Okay then. Um. So, what about the next stage? That's the under super, five hundred pounds, for the annual subscription fee. You can use all services Monday to Sunday except Fridays, because all super memberships have an open lesson with specialist trainers. Okay, I see. So, what time is the best time for me as a student? You can only use the facilities between 7 a.m. and 11:30 p.m. If you need a training coach, you must pay ten pounds per hour, but it's free for super membership. Okay, I see. How about the next stage? Actually, it's called middle class membership. It's slightly less than the three hundred pounds for the annual subscription fee. You can use the facilities from Monday to Thursday only. The other conditions are similar to under super. Okay. What about the last one? Hmm. It's called low class membership. A hundred and fifty pounds for the annual subscription fee. You can use all services from Monday to Thursday between nine a.m. and five p.m. Thanks so much. I will go for the low class membership scheme. Okay. How will you pay for it? Can I pay with a debit card? Sure. Thank you. Here you are. Pin number, please. Okay. Um, can I start from next Monday? Sure, no problem. Thank you for visiting Seven Island Sports Centre. That is the end of part one. You now have one minute to check your answers to part one.
Part 2 You'll hear a tourism programme, Manor House Town Theatre. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 13. Now listen carefully and answer the questions 11 to 13. And here on Radio Manor House today, we have Sandy Smith, the marketing relations officer of our own Manor House Town Theatre. Hello, Sandy. Good to see you. Now, the theatre is reopening soon after its two and a half year development programme, isn't it? That's right. And there has been a lot of remodelling and renovation work. Firstly, audiences will see when they come into the hall that it has been repainted in pure silver and bronze. Also, the ticket office has been redesigned with a new decorated entrance from the both sides of the theatre. This means it can be a more relaxed and comfortable space. The shop, close to the ticket office, will sell tour guidebooks, CDs, and souvenirs. It should be finished by next week. The plan for redevelopment is to show audiences a new image and promote the theatre. Most of all, we hope to welcome potential new audiences and develop new actors and actresses to improve local theatre. How is the auditorium different? Well, it's completely different. Basically, we've extended the space between the aisles. It means that the number of seats is less than before, but we bet audiences will be much more satisfied with the theatre. Being in this condition. Also, we've set up an air conditioner and filtering system, so auditions won't feel hot and stuffy. We have prepared some extra space for disabled customers that is twice as wide as before. We hope this helps them to enjoy the theatre in more comfort. And finally, we've installed some new elevators because the old ones we used were very narrow and often broke down. Now they've been changed and work much better. Has anything changed in the dressing rooms? Of course, we've remodelled backstage. The old dressing rooms were narrow, dark, and damp. But now they've been transformed into wide, bright spaces. We've also added practical drawers and hangers so that performers can change their clothes and makeup easily. Also, the backstage's electronic sound and lighting facilities have been upgraded. Before you hear the rest of the program, you have some time to look at the questions 14 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 14 to 20. All right, so could you tell me some details about the next performance? We've got a play we're very proud of, The Old Man and the Sea, which was written by Ernest Hemingway in 1951. It starts on the 15th of August and runs until the 25th. We used to begin all our performances at 7 pm, but as it was hard for audiences to go home by public transport, we changed the start time to 6 30 pm. The play is due to finish at 9 pm. Surprisingly, tickets are selling like hotcakes. The Saturday and Sunday performances have sold out already. Actually, now we have only tickets for Wednesday and Friday, but those will be sold out soon. How much does it cost? We've introduced a simpler price structure. Ticket prices used to range from £6 to £30, but now they're all £18. Also, they're available from the box office in person, by phone, fax, post, or online. It's not expensive. Great. Sandy, now if you'd like to tell us the telephone number for the theatre. That is the end of part two. You now have 30 seconds to check your answers to part two.
Part 3 You hear a conversation between student Tom and a tutor about a student facility program. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 27. Now listen carefully and answer the questions 21 to 27. Hello, what can I do for you? I visited here last month because I wanted to talk to someone about taking a marketing course. You're in the right place. I'm one of the tutors, so I should be able to assist you. Oh, thanks. My name is Tom Daniel. I've decided to apply for a place on the part-time course. A friend of mine took one last term and recommended it to me. It's great. Is there anything I should do before taking the course, like coursework or preparing a portfolio? We gave out a reading list and handbook on induction day. We're helping current students to write a case study and an essay. The word count is over 5,000 words each, but this will be handed out next term. OK, I see. Anyway, could I have a teaching session or trial lesson? Sure. I'll contact the tutor and ask about your request. Thanks. Could you tell me about the college facilities as well, please? Is there anything in particular you would like to know about? Um, I know the course is twice a week and six hours a day, isn't it? So, presumably, it is possible to use the Internet Café in the Student Union Centre? Sure. The Internet Café is open all night long, Monday to Friday, 8am to 10pm. And normally after 8pm, most students living in the accommodation are using it. I need something special at the refectory as well. Actually, I want to eat a vegetarian diet and low-salted food. OK, then. You should let the staff know before eating. It won't be a problem. OK. I'm just wondering about the nursery and the college. I'd like to bring my son here while I'm studying. How old is he? Three and a half years. Then he's eligible to participate in the nursery at the college. We have several staff with qualifications. Actually... This system has a good reputation for married students. However, demand exceeds supply, so there is still a need to put your name down early for the nursery. OK, I see. Did you have plans related to the marketing course after school? We have a close relationship with industry in the local area, so with our support, most students have a good chance of improving their abilities. Really? So it might help me to develop my study skills after the course? We run an effective job centre with career information relative to a variety of different subjects. There is also a lot of reference materials, business plan advice and other such things. Also, our staff are also qualified to give guidance on a personal basis. Thanks. That sounds great. Um, I love exercising. Is there a fitness centre for students in the college? It's open to everyone. Basically, it's free for current students, but otherwise it's £150 per year, or £30 if you are from another college. And presumably there are library facilities? Of course. And there's also an audio-visual room, internet cafe, group study room, etc. So, how can I use the internet service? Mm, your tutor will arrange for the computer centre team to get you a new activated number, so ask them about the internet service when you use it. Thanks. Before you hear the rest of the programme, you have some time to look at the questions, 28 to 30. Now listen and answer questions, 28 to 30. By the way, do you need information about the business circle? What's that? It's a small group that meets twice a week. Your seniors will support and assist you with any parts of the course that you may be finding difficult. Sometimes they will arrange visit to UK marketing companies during the holidays. Um, you mean a mentor programme? Yes, it's a personal development relationship programme in which a more experienced or more knowledge person helps less experienced or less knowledge students. Great. Could I improve my lack of study skills? 
Actually, I'm not good at surveying, case studies, or writing reports. Sure, you can. There's plenty of useful resources. Just ask one of your tutors. What about an IT lesson? Yes, we'll teach varied programs, including statistics and spreadsheets. So, it is just for students then? No, it's for members only, but anyone can join any time. How much is it? Twenty pounds a month for local residents and five pounds for current students. It's so cheap. It's very reasonable and helpful. So I'd better fill out the application form. Thanks for all your help. That's all right. Any time. See you around. That is the end of part three. You now have thirty seconds to check your answers to part three. Part four. You'll hear part of some information given by the Student Union Centre. First, you have some time to look at questions thirty-one to forty. Now listen carefully and answer the questions thirty-one to forty. Welcome to Surrey Key University. Surrey Key has both physical and geographical advantages. It is also in an urban location and close to Waterloo International Station. The best advantage of Surrey Key University is that it is within one hour of London Central Airport. The university has remarkable research capabilities. We were placed fifth out of 165 universities in last year's research assessment of the UK. We have been supported by government and global corporation companies, especially in subjects like computer science, marketing research, and arts and design. Furthermore, you are able to gain more relevant experience during the holidays by doing a work placement with local industry. I'll now give you some information about how to apply and learn studies about the university directly. If you do decide to make an application, the letter will be sent directly to the Student Union Centre. All student affairs officers, like me, will then send a confirmation letter to you as soon as possible after double checking them. However, unfortunately, sometimes this process doesn't operate quickly because there are postal problems caused by weather, traffic problems. Or the final decision of a head course leader, so the processing period can take four to five weeks. Also, we'll introduce the current senior students that come from your country, so you can get an objective opinion of the university, academic atmosphere, student support and facilities, and all aspects of student life in advance. UK universities run undergraduate courses for three years and master's courses for one year. Which is different to the American university system. All courses are intensive and involve a lot of group work, especially field studies and presentations. If you decide to choose the Surrey Key University, applying for accommodation is easy, and we can have a pickup service at the airport, helping you save time and money. We offer three kinds of accommodation. They are for international students, exchange students, and long-distance residents in the UK. However, demand will exceed supply like last year, so you absolutely need to fill out the application form as soon as possible. If you plan to live in accommodation outside of the campus, you should apply a little earlier. There is great demand every year. Please remember this proverb: the early bird catches the worm. The luxury accommodations will be filled up months before the launching of the new session. In other words, we'll kick off in October, so you will need to apply between July and August. This year we'll offer a great room fee. Before the rent was nine hundred pounds a week, including bills, but now it is only seven hundred and fifty pounds a week. 
Also, we have equipped a broadband internet service for searching online quickly without any concerns. While living in the accommodation, the accommodation officer will take care of all your needs and will always welcome your visit. And finally, regarding language ability, you can choose two options. The first option is a conversation class for developing oral communication and presentation skills. The cost is included in the main school fee. The second option is a one to one class with a qualified TESOL teacher who will help you improve your speaking skills. This option is £20 an hour and classes will be scheduled from Monday to Friday. Improving your language abilities is very important. Unfortunately, around 5% in the bottom line of all current students failed the main course because of low results in the essay and speaking tests. You must not be in this group. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy your time here at Surrey Quay. That is the end of part four. You now have one minute to check your answers to part four. That is the end of the listening test. In the IELTS test, you would now have ten minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. Achieving a band aid in the IELTS reading test within 20 days is a challenging task, but it is possible with dedicated practice and the right strategies. Here's a step by step guide to help you achieve your goal. 1. Understand the IELTS reading test format. Familiarize yourself with the different types of questions you'll encounter in the IELTS reading test, such as true false not given, multiple choice, matching headings, and fill in the blanks. Each question type has its own approach. So understanding the format is crucial for success. 2. Develop strong reading skills. Practice reading a variety of English texts, including newspapers, magazines, academic articles, and novels. This will help you improve your reading comprehension, speed, and vocabulary. Pay attention to how authors structure their arguments and use language effectively. 3. Master time management. The IELTS reading test is timed. So it's essential to develop effective time management strategies. Practice answering sample questions under time pressure to get used to the pace of the test. Allocate time wisely for each passage and question type. 4. Utilize effective reading techniques. Scheming and scanning are essential techniques for tackling lengthy passages in the IELTS reading test. Scheming involves quickly reading through a text to get the gist, while scanning involves searching for specific information. 5. Practice with high-quality materials. Use official IELTS reading practice tests and materials to familiarize yourself with the actual test format and question types. These materials will also provide you with feedback on your performance and areas for improvement. 6. Seek guidance from an IELTS tutor or instructor. Consider enrolling in an IELTS preparation course or working with an experienced IELTS tutor. They can provide personalized guidance. Identify your strengths and weaknesses and help you develop effective test-taking strategies. 7. Build your vocabulary. Expand your English vocabulary by learning new words daily. Focus on acquiring words related to common IELTS reading topics, such as science, technology, history, and the environment. Use flashcards, vocabulary apps, or online resources to aid your learning. 8. Stay motivated and focused. Preparing for the IELTS reading test requires consistent effort and dedication.